over the years, I've restored computers to their original recovery media multiple times. And usually it's quite straightforward and I can understand what I'm doing and whatnot. This is because it's in English. However, what if I restored a computer to a recovery condition in a foreign language that I don't understand all that much? Well, I found German recovery media for my IBM ThinkPad R51 and we're going to restore it to that medium and see how well it goes, I guess. So, let's get started. Now, I want to provide a bit of context first, so if you want to get to the action, just skip to the on-screen timestamp shown right here. So, to understand why I am doing this, I initially only found German recovery media for the 1830 type, which is the one that I have. However, apparently there is English media for this um, computer, and this specific type, so this could have literally just been a normal recovery media video. And I want to generally give a bit of some context on German and its similarity with the language I speak that I know the best, that being English. English. Both of these languages are Germanic languages, and these generally are a group of languages found in, like, Northern and Western Europe in areas that weren't really under the stronger influence of the Roman Empire. I'm not going to get into this too much, but these languages include ones such as English, German, Dutch, Swedish, Danish, and Icelandic. And many of these languages actually share quite a few similarities. English is not necessarily as related to as much. It's got different vocabulary and terms, but still, there are quite a few words that are apparently quite similar. Now, I want to put emphasis on these two languages are nowhere near similar. I do not understand a lot of German, so if you hear me speaking German in this video, I don't really know what I'm saying except I have an idea that it has to do with the software and stuff, because it's Windows XP. I can generally use a user interface in German as long as I have a basic understanding of what the interface looks like. So, regarding the ThinkPad, I got it back in January, where I made an unceremonious video on it in later February, at least it feels that way, and this is my only ThinkPad, at least at the moment. Now, before we get going, I initially had a disk go wrong because apparently I burned one of these images to a defective disk, and I am running out of CDs. In fact, I used all my remaining CDs for this video, so let's just get to that recovery media thing. Well, we are going to... One of these discs had quite a few fellers in it, um, so I don't know if it's going to become a bit of a problem. I also am not sure what this... I'm gonna turn this down. We're gonna use this time to, um, redo my camera settings. Alright, I'll go set that. Now I want the date. Alright, so... Don't think it's gonna be too much of a like too much of an effect, but I checked this media does work with this computer, so like it explicitly states, this is an 1830, this media works in 1830, it is in German, so um, there is a bit of a language barrier, but I can, but I think I should be fine because I am like experienced enough with computer hardware. Oh, well, we got something going on here, so, uh, but I think we should be fine in terms of usability because I, well, I may not understand what is being seen on the screen, I mean, that's English, but though I don't understand German, I can probably understand, or at least get a good understanding of what the interface will probably look like, and if I have to, then I can just translate it on my phone to get a crude idea as to what it would look like, as to what I'm reading. All right. Please wait. Uh, we are going, we're not going to use time lapse because both of my cameras are not in the best of situations right now. So, all right, we got, we have ourselves a mouse. We got ourselves a mouse. All right, it's doing some stuff. It's thinking, but, oh. Welcome in by IBM Risky Re and Recovery Mid Rapid Restore. Der Arbeitszeit to I, I enjoy Der Arbeitsstreik uh, uh, I, 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 wait, let's give this an echo. Der Arbeitsbereich IBM Rescue and Recovery Verfugte Uber and Eingen Tools mit denen sie Feller beheben können aufgrund der sie keinen Zugriff auf die Windows umbegeben 
Gone. I've been. I don't know what any of this. I don't know what any of this is. So um, uh, let's go translate. I'm assuming this is a. I'm assuming that this one is like some sort of agreement thing that I have to. All right. Let's see. No, it's not. All right. So let's understand what I just said. The IBM Rescue and Recovery Workspace provides several tools to help you solve problems that prevent you from accessing w the Windows environment. So that's what I just said. But uh, this is um, a bit of a advanced... Wait, huh? No, wait, no, we have to... Okay, so it's not going to immediately pop up, it seems. So we're going to need to translate these because I don't... Because as I mentioned, I don't understand German. All right. Mm. I think this is probably what we're looking for. Das Programms are product. I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay. I don't understand German, but I do think I understand what I'm seeing. It's probably our last chance to go back before it inevitably wipes no data because we don't have anything installed on our drive. Wenn sie fortfahren, werden alle Daten und Parteien gelöscht. Mochten sie Daten und Daten übertragen, bevor sie fortfahren. Fowren. All right, let's see. Yeah, I'm right. That's last warning. So yeah, it basically gives you one last warning and then hopefully we get this show on the road. Well, it looks like we have to get more. I am using Google Translate so much here. Total hard disk contents. Um, this is a bit harder to, um, I'm going to just hit something. All right, hopefully we don't break this. As I mentioned, I don't really know what I'm doing all that much. So I don't know what drive it is but it's the only option that's there so hopefully this allows us to recover i don't know so it rebooted and started the recovery process which went all fine and smoothly until it started to stop working and got stuck on the third disc pretty late into it as expected the third disc was defective and the reason why this ended up happening was because i accidentally burned the second image to a disc again as a side note this is technically the second disc that i'm using but i'm also classifying the boot disc as the first disc so so that's that and I ended up burning a second copy of the third disc slash second disc and it wouldn't really behave so um and give this another go, which didn't last very long because it wasn't recognizing my disc. I didn't get any footage of this as well, so, um, oops. And then after trying this again, hopefully third time's the charm. It kept going for quite a bit of time, which is good. But then it stopped and wouldn't behave after the sixth disc. So I guess let's go get a recovery media and computing expert in the name of Petabyte AG and see what Petabyte thinks. To put it simply, Petabyte discovered that I accidentally burned the six disc twice. Oops. So let's start this up with all the recovery media stuff already dealt with. In terms of applications, we've got IBM ThinkVantage stuff, which is cool, I guess. Oh, cool. What do you look at that? What do you look at that? A ThinkPad in a life, in like a buoy thingy. All right, let's see what happens when we hit this access IBM button. Whoa, it's IBM. All right, so if I had to guess, this probably has something to do with security, help and support. You know, maybe this wouldn't be as hard if I had access to the, uh, yeah, access to the, if I had access to the translating app on my phone, but that's currently in use, so I guess we are going to just hit Fort Farin. I'm gonna hit random things. Oh, look at Think, think Light. Oh, so this thing over up here. Huh. 
Huh. You know, I'm kind of curious as to... It didn't work. Okay, uh, correction here. As it turns out, this is not an automatically enabled light. You trigger it by hitting page up and page down while holding the FN key. And when you look at that, it turns out that the think light does work. Oops. We got recant information on the ultra nav. I, it's called the track point. Oh, wait, no, this is a bunch of... I always have called it, like, the pointer knob thing. Like, how it is, which is why I've called the one of the Toshiba Tech Rose and whatnot. Next up, we have Norton Antivirus 2004, which, as a setting up, the trial has been reduced to 90 days, and we can do a system scan, which took a good 20 minutes. During this time, I did a lot of things because I was bored, and as I was about to record B-roll footage of it doing the scan, it finished doing the system scan. Talk about interesting, I guess. This looks a little different than what I remember looking like. This looks interesting. Like, I never, I don't think I've ever seen this. Wait, is that the... Is that the Windows XP monitor thing? I can see virus definitions from the, I assume, 8th of January 2004. We can also set up MSN Explorer, which we are not going to do because apparently this requires dial-up. We also have Java Web Start in English, for whatever reason. Applications, remote, it's in, it's in English? This is the version that was pre-installed too. What? 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 what <laughs> As well as Adobe Reader 6.0. There is some loud ass helicopter out there. Fuck. It, uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's gone! Nanami, why? Why do you have to do this to me, Nanami? <coughs> and other than that, there isn't a whole lot that is pre-installed. There's this print online printing thingy. There's PC Doctor. PC Doctor for This is also in English! IBM! This is German Windows XP! Why are some of the pre-installed things in English? We also have Sonic Record now, or as IBM says, IBM Record now. Yeah, some of the pre-installed things on here are branded as IBM programs for whatever reason. I don't know why. I'm not sure if this is like something that IBM did a lot with the pre-installed software, but they did it here. We also have InterVideo WinDVD, something that I can actually show for once because I have that disc from Windows Vista in 2025. This is a DVD player, to put it simply, so that's cool, I guess. And now for a couple programs that I put on here that I am considering audible mentions. First of all, Opera. The reason I put this on here is because I found Opera in the um, recovery environment and decided that why not put it on here. It wasn't pre-installed, so why not put it on here just to be, you know. It's a web browser that these days seems to sponsor a lot of YouTubers. Not me, though. What? No, what? No, network pro. Well, it loaded most of Google. It loaded most of Google, but it seems that Google, uh, that the Google logo got, uh, it seems that the website got guillotined because there's no, because there's no Google logo or even an error or even that little like error icon thingy that indicates that there's a missing image. <laughs> And last but not least, Windows Media Player 10. I put this on here and it's in English, so what else do I really say? It's Windows Media Player. Next up, let's play some games. These are obviously some games that I put on here because this is a business laptop. Why would there be video games on it? I'm not really sure what's going to work and what's not, and I'm not sure if anything in here is going to be chaotic because the last time that I played 3D games on a, on a laptop, it didn't really end very comfortably. So let's start with Bejeweled 2. Now, as a side note, this apparently... It, what? This didn't happen in my testing. All right, so as I was saying, or as I was about to say, this is not using hardware acceleration. And so let's just complete a level here. My gamer levels are not running at their most optimal gamer performance. I just heard the fans tick up there. There we go. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have never seen that before. Ah, that is weird. Next up, we've got uh, Peggle. Let's hear the idling noise while I go get a charger for my... The unicorn's probably like, Good God, why won't you hurry up? Yeah, I gotta look at, gotta look at those sick-ass slides. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that, because this is a more kid-friendly game. Now we're going to try Half-Life, which is where that Toshiba Tekra that I did a video on quite a bit back faltered. The heat vent is kind of warm, but still. What do you expect? It's a game! It's a 3D game, so the heat vent's obviously gonna... Alright, we are finally there. Look at that beauty! <laughs> oh my god, it's blowing up! And I think I forgot to bring up a game. Last but not least, Toho Project 7. And that's generally going to be about it. Overall, this isn't too hard to use. However, I feel like in the long term, I'm probably going to put the English recovery media on here if possible, since I noted that there is an odd thing that happens in that the PC will boot into the recovery environment if any CD is put in a disk drive. Let's just put that to the test here and put open SteelOS in the disk drive. Oh, huh.